The Mandela Washington Fellowship Program is a six-week intensive uh, uh, training program in the in different universities in the U.S. Uh, about leadership. So throughout the program, we learn about different skills about leadership. We learn about ourselves, how we can become better leaders. But we also used to intervene in different community activities. Uh, we serve the community and we try to understand how is it done in the U.S. and how can I do something similar in my country, in my context, and adapt it to my context. So through, through this program, not only did I learn a lot of skills, but also I met wonderful people. The one uh, African Union Youth uh, Voice Finalist. So I entered that competition uh, because I, it was a competition that was suggested to propose the idea to uh, bring back girls to school. So in, in different African countries, we have this problem that many girls are not going to school. And uh, the competition was to propose an idea, okay, what can we do to solve that problem? So I entered that competition because uh, that's something that's very important to me. And uh, I suggested an idea that's in threefold. Um, that's political, um, social, and psychological. So my idea was to say, we have to stop uh, um, letting people not send their, their children to school. So a parent should be obliged to send his parents to school and we should find them, we should enforce the law because the law is out there, but it's not enforced. So the first thing to do is enforce the law. And then uh, we have to stop also um, labeling girls are girls because they're girls. So saying you can do this because you're a girl, your place is there because you're a girl, or you cannot do that because you can do that because you're a boy, but you cannot do this because you're a girl. You know, those things. We have many expressions in our country uh, saying, OK, a girl doesn't shout or a girl doesn't do this. And I think the first thing to do is to stop t telling someone they, they can do this or they cannot do that because they're a girl. So because when that girl grows up thinking that she cannot do this to do that, she becomes a mom and that she's going to teach that to her own girl. So it's a cycle that would never stop. So through different women empowerment programs, through discussions and communities, through different activities, we can tell people that why, why it's wrong to tell girls that they cannot do things. So that was a social component. And the psychological component I was uh, proposing is to, we need to give girls more role models out there. We need to tell them that, you know, you can become that, that girl. She was a girl like you and she became this. So looking at her, she would go like, okay, that could be me in a few years. So we should inspire them so the media can help in this and uh, movies and many things like that that could help the girls have role models. So I suggested that idea. I was a finalist in Ethiopia. My idea was chosen from the different competitors in Ethiopia. Uh, we were 10 uh, of, of us uh, finalists in the group and the one that, the person who won was Nigerian. And that person had the opportunity to present the idea they proposed uh, at the uh, African Union conference. And uh, yeah, that was a wonderful opportunity because it gave me a platform to raise my voice on a subject that's very important to me. So to prepare oneself for this kind of opportunities and to enter this kind of programs, uh, I think the first thing to do is to go look for opportunities. Opportunities don't come necessarily knock at your door all the time. Sometimes they might, but it's quite rare. For, so for a normal person as I am, the first thing that I do is go look for these opportunities, uh, search on the internet, ask people. When I hear something, say, okay, is this something for me? Can I, am I interested in the subject? So that's the very first thing to do. And once we have the opportunity out there and it's available, just go for it and not be scared to not get into it. It will open up other opportunities for you. So once you enter a program, don't just do it just to do it, but do it for real. Give it your best. And I'm sure other opportunities will unfold as you go.